To find the oxidation numbers for Fe3O4, we'll use these rules here to guide our work. This is a bit of an odd one. We end up with a fractional oxidation number. So let's see how we get there. We go down our list, we can see oxygen has a minus two oxidation number, except in a few cases. Iron, Fe, that's a transition metal. It can have different oxidation states, and these rules won't really help us with that. What will help us, though, is a neutral compound. That's a compound that overall doesn't have a plus or a minus out here like an ion. All the oxidation numbers add up to zero. So we can set an equation up to figure out the oxidation number on the Fe in Fe3O4. We'll do that. We'll call Fe x because we don't know its oxidation number. And we have three of the Fe atoms. So 3x minus 2, that's the oxygen. We have four oxygens. All of that needs to equal zero because it's a neutral compound. So we end up with 3x equals 8. So x equals 8 over 3. So the oxidation number on each Fe atom here in Fe3O4 is 8 over 3, and that is a positive number. If you multiply 4 by minus 2, that gives you minus 8. If you multiply 3 by 8 thirds, that gives you plus 8. Minus 8 and plus 8, that adds up to 0. And that makes sense. This is a neutral compound. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for the elements in Fe3O4. Thanks for watching.